Hey guys, I get asked quite a bit on my website, why is there oil from my generator in my air filter? What's causing that? And today I thought we'd just take a quick minute to explain how that physically happens, how the oil gets from the crankcase up into the air filter, and then the five reasons why that happens and what you can do to fix it. Let's get into it. All right, to understand what's going on with the rest of this presentation, we just need to talk about the crankcase for just a quick second. So the crankcase is basically this almost sealed reservoir at the bottom of your engine that holds the oil to lubricate all of your moving parts. And basically inside of this crankcase, it gets very hot, 200 degrees plus Fahrenheit is normal. And then there's constant pressure changes with the piston going up and down, up and down in that crankcase at 3,600 RPMs. Now the way in which the crankcase lubricates everything is that there's an oil slinger on the inside of your generator that slings oil like a fine mist everywhere along all of the moving parts. So you don't just have liquid oil sitting at the bottom of your crankcase and air on top, you have liquid oil and then a mist inside that is just all oil inside of the air, like oil saturated air. Now the crankcase has one primary means of venting itself or equalizing the pressure if pressure builds up too high and that is underneath the uh, valve cover if you take that off there's a one-way check valve built into that cover and um, the pressure can go through but nothing can come back but the pressure can go through and then it can go through this uh, rubber tube that you might see that goes from your valve cover over to your air filter the excess pressure the mist of oil will go through that breather tube and then into your air filter once again for uh, to go back into the combustion process and I kind of hinted at it but you might be wondering why does the breather tube attach to the air filter and that is to complete the combustion that way we don't have oil spraying out into the environment just onto the ground now you have the oil uh, going back into the air filter to be sucked back in to be combusted and then hopefully when it leaves the generator it will leave as a gas through the exhaust itself now that you understand the crankcase and how the oil can move from the bottom of the crankcase up to the air filter, let's go into the five reasons why. All right, if you guys can think of anything that I leave out as to why oil can get from the crankcase up to your air filter, feel free to leave it down in the comments below and let's learn together. All right, reason number one is that you put too much oil inside of your crankcase. And this happens especially with uh, newbies or people that don't service engines too often. Um, on generators, uh, it, things overhang and then the dipstick and the oil fill area that's usually recessed and underneath and it's hard to get to it. You definitely, on a lot of generators, you can't pour physically from the oil bottle into the oil fill hole. And a lot of people will actually just tilt their generator up on like a 45 degree angle or more. They'll put blocks underneath and then they will pour the oil in that way. And then they'll keep checking with the dipstick to make sure that the level gets right on the dipstick. Well, the problem with that is the dipstick's now way in the air instead of being down below. And when you pour the oil in that way, it goes and it rests along the opposite wall of the generator, not necessarily on the bottom. So it's got to fill up the opposite wall and the bottom to reach the dipstick. And then when you think everything's fine, you put the dipstick back in, you lower the generator down. Well, now all of that oil that was on the far wall sloshes back over and it was not only enough to cover the sidewall and the bottom, but now it's gonna be raised way above where your dipstick is and above the max fill line. You've now increased the pressures inside of your crankcase when you go to operate it. So now when you're operating your generator with more oil than it was designed to have, the oil's gonna escape in two primary ways. It's gonna go up through the valve cover and out the one-way check valve through the breather tube and to your um, air filter as a fine mist. But when that mist is being sprayed at 3,600 RPMs, it's basically gonna look like a little bit of a stream of oil coming out. Now the oil will also escape by going between the uh, cylinder walls and the piston rings because there's just so much pressure, it's gotta go somewhere and it'll squeeze and up and go up on top of your piston and the oil will actually combust with your gas oil or your gas air mix. So you'll be burning air, gas, and oil. You will see a plume of white smoke coming out of your generator when that happens. And your generator will continue to do this until you burn out all of that excess oil or until you drain some of it out to get the pressures back where they need to be. All right, reason number two is that you're operating your generator on a uneven surface. So if you have your air filter, your breather tube, and your valve cover downhill of the rest of your generator, it's possible that that could sling up excess oil into that area and that could drain out. But I would think that the angle would have to be pretty hard uh, for that to happen. Reason number three is right along those same lines is that you tipped your generator up on its side with the air filter down, the valve cover down, and everything was able to escape through the breather tube when you were working on your generator or you're having a hard time moving it yourself and maybe you lift it up with one end and then set it down and lift it up again and set it down to move it where you need to go. Um, I recommend getting an aftermarket wheel kit or get a board with some caster wheels underneath if you need to move your generator around if you're having a hard time with that. 
but basically tipping it like that for an extended period of time, you're going to get some oil leaking out of there. And that's just something you got to be aware of, but it's also going to be one of those things that affects engine performance. So now that you have an oil soaked air filter and you start your engine, it's going to be running rough and you're not going to know, did this happen because I tipped it or did this happen because the engine is having an actual problem when it's running? Um, it's going to be one of those chicken and the egg, which one came first. So, so make sure to keep your generator level whenever you're working on it um, to avoid this problem. All right, reason number four is not the funnest one, but basically this is if you are experiencing blow-by in your engine. And if you're new to that, you're wondering what is blow-by? And blow-by is basically when your air and your gas come through your carburetor and they go into your combustion chamber and they finally combust and explode on the inside. That exhaust usually just goes out through the exhaust. But if you have a well-seasoned engine, an engine that's actually more than well-seasoned, one that's kind of going downhill at this point, the tolerances are looser, your piston rings aren't creating a good seal, or you have a damaged engine with a, a cylinder wall that is scored, um, when that exhaust happens at hot gas, it's going to, 90% of it might go out through the exhaust, but that other 10% will be able to drive down and go past your piston rings and between your cylinder wall and down into your crankcase. Now this increases um, pressures uh, twofold inside of your crankcase. The temperature change, it's normally 200 degrees plus in your crankcase. Now you get this 1500 or 2000 degree flash of heat going down in there. And then you're also just gonna get the physical substance of that exhaust blowing down there as well. So pressures will increase um, dramatically and they will have to be vented out through that breather tube once again. And you could have the pro appropriate oil level in your crankcase, but if you have blow by, you're still gonna get oil getting um, vented out into your um, air filter. Now a quick way, a quick tip or trick to see if you have blow by is let your engine run for about 15 minutes, let it get nice and hot and then turn it off and then take out the dipstick. And if you see exhaust or smoke coming out of where the oil fill hole is, then you know you're experiencing blow by. To fix this, that's a, that's a video for another day. Um, that's way more advanced than I wanna get into. And at that point you gotta decide, do you wanna cut your losses and get a new generator or do you want to dump a bunch of money into this? Because you don't know what it's going to be. It could be a scored cylinder wall, in which case you're kind of SOL. Um, could just be that you need new piston rings. It could be a bunch of different reasons. So you need to weigh the pros and the cons. It might just be best and more uh, cost efficient to get a uh, used generator that's in great condition or a new one. And the fifth and final reason is not a big deal, but um, if you're not used to servicing your air filter or your generator, or if you just bought this one used, um, basically some generators have a pre-filter on them, on the air filter. So you'll have the paper or the cotton-like air filter, and then you'll have this thin foam pre-filter. And it's recommended that you get that pre-filter slightly um, saturated with a thin film of oil. And that's basically so that the dirt and the dust in the air, when it gets sucked in, will stick to that oil. And then you can just wash that pre-filter with hot water and dish soap and extend the life of your actual air filter. And so you can put it back on. And you don't want to get the pre-filter soaked. You just want like a teaspoon of oil on your hand, mix that in with the filter nice and light, and then wring out any of the excess and install it. And you should be good to go. It should not be dripping with oil because that will inhibit the air coming in. Your engine, you'll be choking it out from air. So if your air filter just has clean oil, it's not dirty, it's clean oil, and it just seems to be a little wet, go ahead and wring it out. And hopefully that's your problem. It's not a big deal. There was just a little excess oil from whoever serviced it last. And you would be incredibly awesome if you hit the like button if this video helped you out with uh, fixing your generator's problem with oil getting from the crankcase up to your air filter. I appreciate your view and thanks a lot. Have a great day.